Welcome to English Without Limits. In today's lesson, we're going to learn a different way to talk about things in the past. We already learned the past simple tense. And in that tense, we talk about something that happened in the past, and we describe it as one event, one short thing. Today, we're going to learn another way to talk about things in the past, but they went on for a longer time. We'll learn that this tense describes them a little differently. All right, I hope you enjoy the lesson. In our last lesson, we learned about words we call modals of possibility. These are words that we use to describe how likely something is to happen. Is it 100% for sure, or 90%, or 50%? Let's join the class as they begin to review these modals of possibility. Good afternoon. How are you today? Good. Good. You're okay. That's good. The sun is starting to shine, which is nice, right? It's going to be a nice day. What we're going to do first is we're going to review what we learned in the last lesson. Can anybody tell me what we learned in the last lesson? Ooh, modals of possibility. I'll just write that up here for us. Right, modals of possibility. Can you tell me any modals of possibility that you remember? Okay. Will, shall, can you, let's say them together, let's say, Will, shall, may, might, that's another one, might, can, could, very good. How about there's one that looks and sounds like could, it starts with should, very good. Oh, and there's a longer phrase and it is ought to. And then there's also another one, be going to, very good, very good. Let's say them all together just to practice them again. Will, shall, may, might, can, could, should, ought to, be going to. Now remember, when we use modals of possibility, we are making a statement we're not asking a question, right? So if I make a statement about this evening after class, about me going for a walk after class, maybe, what would I say? Um, um, Elson yes. may uh, go for a walk. That's right, after class. And it, because it's a possibility, I might not. If it's raining, will I go for a walk? No. No, maybe, but maybe not, probably not. Good job, so you guys remember that very well, excellent. Let's practice this a little bit together. Do you remember what we learned last time about the order of words? If we are making a request, the order is modal, then subject, then the verb. If we are making a statement, the order is the subject first, and then the modal, and then the verb. I may have, or I may go. And you remember that some of these words express a definite thing, it's really going to happen. These are things like shall, or will, or be going to. Some of them express 90%, the idea that something will happen, it's almost definite. These are words like ought to, or should. 
And the other words would express the idea that this is maybe 50-50. Can, may, might, could, and some people put should here as well. So let's practice this a little bit together. I will read a statement on the screen and you must say is this 100%, 90%, or 50% likely to happen? I will pause for you to give your answer, then I will give the correct answer. All right, are you ready? Let's begin. Mama may go to the store today. 50%. It looks like it could rain later. 50%. Svetlana might want to go swimming today. 50% My brother will win the race. 100% The weather should be nice tomorrow. 90% Dima may want to buy a new book. 50% When it's cloudy like this, it will rain. 100% My sister could be the best student. 50% if it is hot tomorrow, it will be good for us. 100% The teacher should be here by 9 o'clock. 90% If your computer breaks, you can call a repair shop. 50% when this race is over, I'm going to have a shower. 100% Your grandfather may have a present for you. 50% My uncle ought to be coming on tonight's bus. 90% Some time ago, we learned about the past simple tense. The past simple tense is when we say things like, I cooked dinner yesterday, or I bought a book yesterday. And when we use that tense, we are saying this event happened at a certain time in the past, but we speak of it, we describe it as if it were a very short thing, just a moment in time. Today we're going to learn about the past progressive tense. We sometimes call it the past continuous tense. And this is when we describe something a little differently. Yes, it was in the past. But we don't talk of it as just a moment. We talk of it as if it were a longer thing. It went on for a period of time. Maybe it was a few minutes, maybe it was a few hours, maybe it was days. And the other thing that we use this tense for is to say that there were two things going on in the past and to show how they connected, how they were related to one another. This can be a little confusing at times because it may be very different from the way your first language talks about things in the past. But I hope you can understand it. Let's join the class as they begin to learn about the past progressive tense. And today we're going to talk about something that we all need to use and it's another one of our verb tenses. Okay, who can tell me really quickly what is a verb? What, what is a verb? Remember they're words that give action? 
right? Or state of being. So I just wanted to test you, just to see. And I know you know what a verb is. So today we're going to learn about... The past progressive. What does it mean when something is in the past? It's already finished, right? So when I say the past tense, it means it's already finished. Now, we're going to look at past progressive or past continuous, sometimes call it. What does it mean to continue? If I say to you, um, we're going to continue this lesson tomorrow. What does that mean, continue? We'll start when we start that, uh, the place that we yeah. stopped at. We'll keep going, right? So continue means to keep going, okay? So that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at verbs that keep going. So I want you to tell me, we're going to just practice. What were you doing today before you came to class? So say it in a sentence. Before I came to class. Before I came to play, to class, I was playing. Oh, I'm going to write that up. Okay, let's read it together. Before I came to class. I was playing. Very good. Somebody else, what were you doing before you came to class today? What were you doing, Tanya, before class? I stood. You stood? Okay. Were you at school before you came to class today? No, school finished, right? School's done yesterday. So you weren't, were you at home? Were you in your house before class? Yeah. Yeah. So I was at home or before class. Let's try that again. Yeah. Oh, whoops. No, before I came. Before class, I was reading. Did anybody read today? You did. I did too. So before class, I was reading. Okay. Now look at this. I'm going to show you this. This is using the past progressive. And I'm going to show you why. Was reading. Is That is the way that we form the past progressive. So again, we've got... Right? The verb to be in the past form plus reading, the verb read plus ing. So I'm going to show you the form of the past progressive is this. So the past form of the verb to be, which is was or were, very good, Dima, plus the verb plus ing. Okay, so I'm actually going to put that up on the board. Let's practice this. Here we go. So we'll have our subject here. Was, there's our verb, plus ing. So let's start with Lena. Lena was, what's a verb we can use? Playing. Very good. So Lena was play plus ing equals playing, right? Liana was playing the piano. Okay. When, when it was supper time. Okay. Or before supper, let's say. Before supper. Now something about the past progressive. This is a really long sentence. Something about the past progressive is it shows us time. It shows us the relationship between two things. When was Lena playing the piano? Before supper, right? So this was something that happened continuously. She continued.
to play the piano before supper. So it shows us relationship of, of, of an action happening in time. Okay? That's one rule. Now, what I want us to do is practice this. I'm going to give you a lot of verbs. Okay? Everybody's going to get a list. And we are going to practice putting, using these verbs in the past continuous or past progressive. Okay? Let's read through the list of verbs first. Ready? Run, jump, play, read, sleep, walk, talk, cook, study, listen, open, close. Now, you notice there's a star beside some of those ones? The reason that there's a star is because they're irregular. They don't follow the regular pattern. So we're going to do some extra help on those ones. But look at what our form is. For example, do we have play on here somewhere? Yeah. We do. What is the form with a regular verb? We add was, play plus ing to equal playing. So let's try some of these ones. Let's try jump. Oh, very good. So I would then say Lena was, was jumping on the piano. No. <laughs> okay. How about cook? Oh, she was cooking on the piano? No. She was cooking in the kitchen before supper. Yes. Right? Or when you when I came over. Very good. So that's how we're going to do that. Yeah? So I would like you now we're going to write some sentences. You're going to write some sentences. I'm going to help you. And we're going to write sentences using this form and the verbs you have on your sheet. So you can choose five verbs that you want to write a sentence with. Okay? Choose five. And and then we'll write sentences just like this. So, let's read some of our sentences. Let's hear what you wrote about. Okay? Why don't you, would you like to read a sentence? Why don't you come up and read a sentence for us? Read it for the class. Rika was cooking, cooking the pie. The pie. Oh, good. And Elisa was reading in the book. Very good. Dima was playing, playing in the football. Misha was close in the windows. Tanya was listening the history. Very good. Good sentences. And did you hear was listening? Right? He was practicing using all of the, the past progressive. Good. Very good job. Are you ready? Sure. Come on up and read your sentences for us. Luca was <coughs> running in the park. Tana was playing the piano. Dima was cooking in the kitchen. Uh, Lena was sleeping every day. <laughs> Sasha was <coughs> working every morning. Elisa was reading in the park. Very good job. Okay, come on up. Dima, you're the last one. Let's hear you. I, I was running before breakfast. Lena uh, was playing on the piano before she goes to school. The, you were, were uh, staying yesterday after school, studying. Studying, yes. Yeah, we were opening two months ago, and I was listening to the teacher all of the time last lesson. <laughs> oh, that's good. You're listening to the teacher all of the time. <laughs> that's good. Okay, now it's your turn. I'd like you to do the same thing the students were doing on the screen. I'd like you to take a piece of paper and I want you to write five sentences, five short sentences. In each one, you must put it in the past progressive tense. 
also called the past continuous tense. Now you remember the order from what the teacher said. You put the name of the person.